North Korean state TV announcing the latest provocation. Two short-range ballistic missiles splashing down in the Sea of Japan, weapons that could be armed with a tactical nuclear weapon. It was the second launch in three days. Saturday, the Hermit Kingdom blasted an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of hitting Canada and the U.S. But it came up well short. Disintegrating mid-flight, the debris landing just 200 kilometers off Japan's northern coast, causing condemnation from the Japanese Prime Minister and a call for an emergency meeting of the U.N. Security Council. The North Korean response coming not from Kim Jong-un, but his sister, threatening to make the Pacific Ocean a firing range. Kim Yo-jong viewed as a rare rising star in a country centered around the supreme leader. The launch is widely viewed as a warning shot as American, South Korean and Japanese forces start joint military exercises in the region, including flying long-range supersonic bombers. DPRK once again uh, launched a ballistic missile. Those allies holding an emergency meeting to condemn Pyongyang. We call on uh, others to condemn this action, to take uh, appropriate steps, including the uh, effective enforcement of sanctions. Enforcement that Canada has participated in since 2018 by sending ships and aircraft to patrol the Korean coast through Operation Neon. Mackenzie Gray, Global News, Ottawa.